Hey there, Paul. It's Marcy here, uh, recording your video for you. I spoke to you at the end of last week. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep this brief as possible, but I'm going to show you three things that you could start doing to outrank your competitors online to bring in more customers um, with your website. So um, you're probably wondering why is it that I do this and what, what's in it for me, but what I found is that quite often when it comes to internet marketing, uh, the majority of businesses are too busy running their business to learn how it can actually work to their benefit. Um, and sometimes their only hesitation is that they, you know, they don't, they, in hiring somebody, is they don't know who's an expert and who isn't. So I found by giving people an easy blueprint of actual things that they can do to impact their business for free has resulted in some of those business owners raising their hand, saying, I like it, I like what you're showing me, you know, please do it for me. So, um, you know, if you like what you, what, what you see at the end of the video, I'm happy to sit down and then talk about it. Um, or if you, you know, at the end of the video, you simply want to take the free tips that I gave you and go off and do it yourself, that works for me too. So the three things that I'm going to go over are content, backlinks, and citations. And I'm going to begin with content here. What I mean by that is... Uh, everything that I've got highlighted here, that's content. So the words on your page, the uh, images on your page, page, that's what I'm referring to. I'm just going to check something here as content. So you can see when I click on to save that picture, it tells me what, 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 um, what it's labeled as, what Google sees, because of course Google, the Google bots don't see the picture, but they can read what it is that it's been named. So you can see this picture, it's a missed opportunity as far as optimizing. Um, goes when it comes to the content is because it's just all these all these numbers and stuff so that doesn't tell Google what it is you do see Google when they find a website on the internet they're gonna go in there and they're gonna crawl the entire site because they want to know figure out what it is that you do what services you offer and what location you offer them in so that way that they can serve them up when somebody types a search term for this particular I used uh, painting companies Vancouver I used that key keyword search so they can serve up the best results results because you know Google, what Google's got in this is is you know they make money with keep with people being on their search engine so they want to serve up the most relevant results in order to keep them there so um, the nice thing about the content all of these things that I show you is just kind of you do your research you figure out you know what it is that you've got going on what it is that your competitors have going on and then you just beat them on all three counts so the nice thing about the content is most websites don't have a whole pile of content on it. Uh, website builders, if they're not, not well versed in SEO, they don't realize the importance of the content. But, you know, in our business, we, um, we refer to content as king because it certainly is, as a, you know, it makes sense. You're telling Google what it is that you do, making it a lot easier for them. So they like to see anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 words on a homepage um, of keyword rich you know, authoritative, not plagiarized, but, you know, unique content on, on the homepage um, definitely is going to contribute to to your rankings. So the next thing I'll go to then, uh, which ties in, and I've taken this business here. The first page of Google is always going to be the same. If anybody's doing paid ads, they're going to show up on the top. The middle section here is called the uh, Maps listing, Google My Business listing. And then down here, we call this the organic section. So backlinks are a big contributing factor into what, the, you know, who's going to appear first here and who's going to appear on the first page, period, you know, as opposed to the 10th page. So what a backlink is, to explain it in simplest terms, it's a, it's a link uh, from a third-party site on the internet linking back to your website. So to understand what, how this, what, how Google sees this, is if you think of the internet as a big popularity contest, and you've got um, another site voting for you, aka giving you a link back to your site, that in turn is going to push you up in the search engines. Google sees you as, as the popular one. You know, if you've got one site that's got just a little handful of links, and the other one's got got a hundred links, well they're going to see the one with a hundred as being the popular guy. So, you know, all the other sites, all the other websites are paying attention to him. So, looking at him and he's, he's the one to see. So, I put your site and I took that number one ranking business and put it into the same tool so we can see why why they are in the first place. So, I put your site in here, this, this tool called Arifs, and it shows us what's going on behind the scenes, shows us your backlink profile. So, it, what it's showing me actually is that there is is no data, so I'm going to assume that there isn't a whole pile going on with the backlinks. Backlinks come and go. You can see over here zero zero zero. So at one time, 
you did have a couple going on, but at, the, at this moment, no data. Um, you're, you are being found for 18 words, and it's showing that you had one visitor to your, just, just came, you know, found without paid ads or anything, found your site. Um, now, if I compare that to the one that's in the, in the top space there, you can see he has 52 uh, referring websites giving him 282 backlinks, he's being found for about 450 words, and he's getting roughly 300 visitors to his site a month. Would, would make sense with him being in that, uh, in that number one spot. So um, in, in saying that too, not all links are created equal. That doesn't mean that if you go out and you know you get, you know, you, know, you want to beat them, definitely. Um, but if you went out and just got 70 random backlinks that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to beat him um, quality definitely rules over quantity when it comes to backlinks and that they're relevant that they're coming from sites that google trusts um, all play a factor when you're building your backlink profile but that's what's helping um, and and leads me to the uh, third thing the citations that i was going to talk about citations uh, have have bearing in this middle section the map section so they tend to fall in line quite often is the the sites that are ranking on the first page are quite often the ones that are showing up here it, it, it helps one of the factors but one of the huge factors of uh, pushing you up in the rankings for the map section is is a citation so what a citation is is it's a place on the internet where you're going to find your exact business name address and phone number um, so this this itself is is a citation um, 411 yellow pages any directory listing it's it's just you know again Google goes back to the popularity contest Google's out there crawling the web and it sees your business cited all over the place lets them know you're legit you know you're a legit business you're all, you're all over the all over the internet in these various directories so the way to work on beating out your competitors in the rankings for the map section um, and ultimately of course best case scenario is to be up here in, in one of the top three, showing in one of the top three when you can, um, is going out and beating your competitors, getting your your business listed in more directories than they are. So hopefully you found this information useful, Paul, um, found some value in it. I am going to email it off to you and I will follow up because I want to make sure that you receive it and have a chance to watch it. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.